Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're checking out the HP OfficeJet 4650 today. This is a printer, a scanner, a copier. They even put a modem in the back so you can use it as a fax machine if you still have one of those traditional phone lines laying around. So it will do traditional faxing as well. About $95 right now on Amazon, so very reasonably priced. And this one is really geared towards uh, kind of low volume home offices, I would say is probably the best fit for it. In the interest of full disclosure, HP sent this to the channel to review as a loaner. So when I am done with this review, it goes back in the box and is sent back to HP. Uh, nobody is paying for me to make this video right now, so there's no financial relationship with HP. I have full editorial control, so every opinion you're about to see is mine and mine alone. And these are the disclosures that I do now on the channel here because not enough of these folks on YouTube these days are doing them, so I feel it's important uh, to tell you exactly what my relationships are with these companies. So let's take a look at the overall hardware here. Again, this is a low volume kind of device. You've got a 35-page document feeder here. It only do uh, one one page at a, at a time and it only does one side at a time so it won't do any duplex scanning. It will do duplex printing though which I'll show you in a few minutes. You have a flatbed scanner here, 1200 DPI uh, color and black and white documents. So you know, not a, not a terrific resolution, but good enough for most things. You could probably scan some photos with it and everything else. It is a color printer. Uh, you have two ink cartridges. One is your tri-color cartridge and the other one is your black cartridge. So uh, you will be uh, replacing that three-color cartridge even if you still have ink left in one of those three colors. Uh, however, I'm gonna talk about uh, HP's instant ink program a little bit later in the video, which I think actually is a pretty good strategy and if you are uh, doing a lot of regular printing it might actually save you money uh, although you do have to subscribe to a monthly service in order to get that program but I think economically it might work out uh, if you do the math on your printing level there. Uh, there isn't much of a paper capacity on this printer though so you're probably only going to get about 30 or 40 pages in here depending on the thickness of your paper so not a lot of room uh, for paper but again this is not a printer designed for a lot of high volume usage on it. Uh, it does have a very nice little black and white touchscreen display here so you're not going to get any photo previews or anything like that when you're printing but uh, you can get in here and kind of do all the basic functions of the machine like copying and scanning and faxing uh, just by interacting with the screen here it kind of reminds me of the original Mac screen so uh, very clear and very easy to look at uh, I would recommend actually not installing the HP software on any of your computers because uh, this works really nicely over the network so you get it connected via Wi-Fi uh, interacting with that display here you can get to your Wi-Fi controls here it actually kind of walks you through it it uh, when you get everything set up and uh, once you get it on there your computers will just kind of pick it up automatically and you'll see that on my Mac here in a second uh, Windows works just as easily with it it also works with iPhones and Android devices too and I'm actually going to show you in a second video uh, some easy ways to get your Chromebook or your uh, Android device connected up with this thing that might differ a little bit than the direction that HP might want to take you in with that so let's take a look now and see how fast it prints and scans and then we'll get into some more stuff on that instant ink program too all right, so we're going to start off here on my Mac, and we're going to go and print from this uh, document I have here from my day job. And what I'm going to do is go up to Printer, and what you'll see is the OfficeJet 4650 just automatically showing up on my list of available printers. On Windows 10, it'll be a very similar experience. You go in and add a printer. Windows will find it on your network, provided you get this connected to your Wi-Fi properly, which again is a very easy process to do. I'm just going to click on that. It's going to set up my uh, printer for me here automatically, and it is ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is print out this colored document uh, so you can get a feel for how fast it will print out. So I'm going to click on print here, and I'm going to switch my camera here to the printer. It should uh, come to life here in a second, and uh, you'll see that uh, little paper tray thing come out automatically on that. You could flip this thing up too if you want to do something like that and we'll let this start printing. Now they say in color, uh, you're gonna get anywhere from uh, six to seven pages per minute out of here. So it's not gonna be as fast as some higher end printers will be, uh, but you can hear it is going to town on that document right now with uh, a bunch of color and a pretty good amount of coverage on the page here. So you can see uh, really kind of an example of kind of a typical business oriented kind of document that you might print out of there and you get a feel for how quickly it will spit itself out of the printer. So not the fastest in the world, but you will get a document that uh, looks pretty nice when all is said and done. So uh, pretty fast there. That was from a PDF document. So now what I'm going to do is uh, switch back over to our Mac here. I've got a two page document, just the black and white text here. And what we're going to do in this one is go and uh, have it actually give us a, a dual sided document. So what will happen is is that this will uh, do two-sided printing so we'll just select the long edge printing on here it might look a little bit different on Windows but it's still a very similar process 
uh, we'll go ahead and click print. And what should happen here is we're only going to get one piece of paper, uh, but the document will be printed on both sides. So we're going to send that over to the printer. Uh, we are printing again, and uh, we'll let it uh, chew on that for a second. You can see the little display will let you know what's going on here uh, when you do send the document over there. And we'll let the uh, printer spit out that document. This one will print a lot faster because we're just printing black text. So you can see uh, the speed in which that came out. Now it's going up out just a little bit here. And what it's going to do is suck that page back in and print the other side of it now. In black, they said it'll print up to nine and a half pages per minute uh, in decent quality. You can get it to go faster in draft mode, which they say will do about 20 pages per minute, but the quality really won't be there. So the print quality, I think, is best to uh, have in a little bit of a higher quality mode here. Uh, and it's hard maybe to see on camera, but it does uh, look pretty good for the price point here. So you can see how a, a two-sided document is going to work there. And it also works well with mobile devices, both iPhones as well as Android devices. Remember, I'm going to do that separate video on Android in a minute for uh, getting everything printing. What's nice about this is that it works with Apple's AirPrint uh, on your network. So once this is connected to your network, uh, your iPhones and iPads will find it. So if I go over here to print uh, in the Pages application, I can go over to my list of printers. And again, we'll see that Office Jet 4650 on there. I can go ahead and uh, print out a document from my phone and uh, it should uh, shoot over to the printer here any minute now. So you can see that it did uh, sp spawn a print job here and uh, out comes the document that uh, we had sent over from the phone. So uh, pretty quick and easy on the phone there as well. And while that's going, we're going to go back to my phone here and pull up a uh, application that HP actually gives you on the App Store. The app is called the All-in-One Remote and what this will do is allow you to print uh, from the application directly as well as scan and capture documents and other things as well. So what we're going to do here is just go and tap on the scan icon. This is on Android also. Very easy to set this one up also because uh, as long as your printer again is on the network, your iPhone running this app uh, will find it for you pretty quickly. So it's very, again, very easy to get these printers working these days. Uh, so what we're going to do here, I'm just going to put some documents up on the uh, flatbed or the uh, sheet fed scanner here. So let me just uh, adjust the paper a little bit. Uh, stick uh, the thing we just printed out in here as well. And what I'm going to do is go back to my iPhone and what I'm going to do is click on the uh, little gear icon and say the imports, uh, impo input source is the document feeder. I'm going to click on scan and what will happen now is uh, the scanner will uh, get uh, summoned over the network and it will start uh, taking those documents in. Now you can see this is not a very fast scan process here by any means. So uh, you're not going to be scanning at a very fast rate here, but uh, you can get these documents in. And again, remember this is uh, a single page at a time only one side at a time as well. So if you had a double-sided document, you'll have to flip it over again. So let's let this uh, finish scanning here and we'll see what we get on our iPhone when it's done. All right, so our document is here on our phone now. The only issue I have with, uh, at least on how the iOS version of this works, is that uh, they make you use their own connection to your cloud services to get the document out. So uh, on the iOS platform, you can usually just uh, pull up an extensions shelf here and pass them off to other applications without having to log in uh, through somebody else's server. And what HP is looking for you to do is uh, get your app here registered with uh, these cloud services uh, in order to make it work. So it'd be nice if it's a supported the native iOS extensions, which it doesn't, uh, but it would be nice to see that added later. But I would suggest probably the easiest thing to do would just be to use the email function here, uh, which will pull up your uh, existing iOS mail application to pass those documents off via email. But again, it would be nice to have something a little bit more flexible than that. So let's talk about ink now. I'm going to pull up uh, the HP Instant Ink page so we can see how the printer interacts with that and how this new subscription-based program works. So the HP Instant Ink program is a metered subscription program. It starts at $3 a month and goes up to $10 a month. And it's based on the number of pages that you print. Uh, so it starts at 50 pages per month on that $3 plan and goes up to 300 pages per month on the $10 plan. Uh, you are allowed to roll over pages from one month to the next. So for example, if I printed uh, 30 on the low end plan uh, this month, I could carry 20 over into the following month for a total of 70 in that following month. So you can basically keep uh, rolling over whatever your maximum plan amount is. So if you're on the, uh, the 50 page per month plan, you can uh, keep 50 pages and roll over in addition to uh, what you are granted for printing that month as well. So they do give you some ability not to pay for the things that uh, you're not using. And where I think this is a good value uh, comes into play when you look at the page coverage that you're doing on your print. So uh, something like this is uh, normal kind of page coverage, you know, just text on, on paper. But something like 
uh, maybe this document or even this one that we printed earlier are a little bit more than what normal page uh, coverage might be for what they rate these cartridges at. So for example, on our two cartridges in here, if we wanted to replace these, uh, it's $35 for both the uh, color and the black cartridge together. That's what you pay every time you replace both of these cartridges. Now, uh, if I am printing a lot of stuff like this, I am burning through more ink than they're rating on these cartridges. So the color one here, uh, they rated 165 pages. Uh, the black and the black cartridge here is about 190 or so. Uh, but if I'm printing this, uh, this is going to definitely deplete that cartridge faster. So I'm not going to get 165 pages like this. I'm going to get 165 pages more like this. This one. Uh, so that is where I think this subscription program might be a better value in that uh, you're paying per page irrespective of how much stuff you're putting on the page. So if you run out of ink more quickly, you'll just get more ink cartridges. And as long as you're staying underneath that page threshold, uh, you will be paying just a subscription amount per month and not having to uh, spend 35 bucks every time to replace these things. Another area too where I think this might have an advantage is uh, when you look at the cost of the tricolor ink on this printer, you know, if you, you have three colors inside of this cartridge, if one of those three goes out, you have to usually replace the entire cartridge when you're buying stuff from your office supply store. Under this model, they just send you another cartridge and even though you are throwing out or sending back to them the cartridge that still has some ink left in it, at least you're not paying for another cartridge that you don't need. So it really might make sense, again, depending on uh, the volume that you're doing and how you're going about it. And you can uh, change your subscription plan anytime you want. You can also leave it. However, the cartridges will not work if you exit the plan. They actually validate with the HP server. So if you uh, get your big cartridge on your plan and then cancel the plan, uh, that cartridge isn't going to work if you canceled it. So you'll have to go back to buying the ones at the office supply store. So they have definitely thought of that. Uh, as the print is printing, uh, it will be communicating back to HP about how its ink levels are. And when it gets to a certain point, it will initiate an order and those new ink cartridges will get to you as part of your subscription plan. So you don't pay for shipping or anything else beyond the, uh, the standard subscription rate unless you go over your allocations. Uh, you also get a little metering page here so you can see uh, how you're doing on your usage. So you can see here I signed up for the uh, middle of the road plan at five bucks a month. It gives me 100 pages of printing per month and I'm about 19 pages into that so far. If I had rollover pages, you could see uh, what I have here and they allow me up to 100 rollover pages. And then if I went over, uh, this is what I would be paying in addition to what I've used. So if we go back to our grid here real quick, you can see that on the occasional printing plan at three bucks a month, uh, if I print um, more than 50, I'm charged a dollar for every 15 pages over the 50 that I print. Uh, and you can see what happens on the other plans. So a dollar for 20 pages on the moderate plan, and I get 25 pages for a buck on the frequent printing plan. So uh, again, you got to do the math and figure out if this makes sense for you or not. If you're printing 10 or 15 pages a month, it probably doesn't make sense. But if you are doing 30 or 40 pages a month, then maybe it does, especially when, again, if you're printing stuff uh, with this much coverage on there. So uh, definitely worth keeping in mind there. The other thing is, is that they're not going to give you any mulligans if you uh, go ahead and uh, print out a bunch of stuff by accident. So I've done this before. You print out 50 pages and then realize, oh my gosh, I screwed up this document. I got to reprint it. Uh, they're not going to give you any kind of credit. So everything that comes off of this printer, whether you meant to print it or not, is going to count against your metered amount for the month. So if you have a habit of sometimes printing things you didn't intend to, uh, there will be a penalty for that uh, on your plan here. But it is good though to start seeing some companies coming up with some different ways to go about this ink problem. Uh, in the case of this printer, you don't have to sign up for the subscription. So again, you can just buy them from the office supply store at 35 bucks a shot, uh, or you can subscribe. Uh, Epson has a different strategy where they uh, have a huge ink tank that they're putting on the side of the printer. We looked at one of those a few weeks ago. Uh, that printer though starts at $400 for what is essentially a $100 printer under the current uh, ink model of expensive ink cartridges, in other words. So you're getting the same $99 printer, but you're paying $400 because you're getting about two years worth of ink on the side of it uh, versus this one where you're paying the subsidized cost and uh, can choose to go with a subscription plan or uh, keep buying the full priced ink cartridges. So uh, nothing's free in this world, but at least there's some choices finally to uh, perhaps offset the, the high cost of ink. And again, I, I think if your volume is such uh, that you are, you could see some benefit out of this, 
uh, it's definitely worth giving it a shot at least because there isn't any long-term commitment to it and you can always go back to uh, doing the cartridges the other way. So that is the Office Jet 4650 from HP. Very easy to configure and get working on the network. Uh, very reasonably priced and uh, some good options for how you might go about uh, choosing to put the consumables in it. Uh, in some ways, again, depending on your volume, you might save money uh, doing the subscription plan. So not a bad deal uh, if it makes sense for you to go in that direction. So stay tuned. Our next video that's uploading right after this one, uh, we'll look at how we can configure Google Cloud Print to use with our Android and uh, Chrome OS devices. That video comes up next. But in the meantime, this is Lon Sybin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Shabib. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.